Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to replace your display on a late 2013 MacBook Pro 13 inch retina display. If you're looking for more tech how to's, be sure to subscribe because we have more on the way. Before we get started, we'll need a couple of tools. First off is a P5 Penelope screwdriver, a T8 or T9 Torx screwdriver, depending on your model, a pair of tweezers, spludger because we'll need the flat end, your new display whenever you get it, and an anti-static wristband. And I say this even though it's debated whether you use it or not, because it's good practice whenever you work on computers to use one. And that's because you don't want to accidentally shock the inside components. So now that you have everything, let's get started on this project. Flip your laptop to its lowercase and you'll see 10 screws. Use a P5 pentalobe screwdriver to remove them. To keep track of where the screws go later on, I usually tape them to the table where they line up with the case. That way I don't mix up the two different size screws. Pull up the lower case and put it to the side. Before you do any work, you always have to disconnect the battery. So gently lift up the plastic cover for it, then use a flat headed tool like a spudger to lift up the battery connector, not the socket and push it out of the way so it doesn't hit its socket. Now, go to the fan and take off the rubber fan bumper. To the left of that, there will be three cables that connect to the airport board. Go underneath them near their connectors and lift them up with the spudger. To the right of the fan is the EyeSight camera cable. Take the spudger and slowly push on each side to slide it out. Then peel the cable off of the fan. At the top right corner, you'll see the display cable. Take a tweezer and flip it open. Then pull it out of its socket. Each hinge of the display has a black triangular rubber cover. Peel both the right and the left off. Working on the right side first, take a T5 Torx screwdriver and remove the screw that's to the left of the hinge screws. Remember, it's not the one on the board. And then do the same for the left. Using a pair of tweezers, remove the hinge bracket that those screws held in place. With a T8 Torx screwdriver, or T9, depending on your model, remove the two outer screws for both hinges. Now open up the laptop to a little more than 90 degrees and rest it on the table. Be sure to have it so that your left hand is holding the display, unlike me who can't tell left from right sometimes. Remove the last screw for each hinge. Then take off the display. It should come right off, but sometimes it can be a little tricky, so don't ever force it. Attach the new display and put back the last hinge screw you took off for both sides. Close the display and lay the laptop down again. Put back all the hinge screws on both sides. With the tweezers, place the hinge brackets back. Make sure it lines up with the aluminum rail at the top, then put the screw back that held it in place. Take the rubber hinge covers and place them over the hinges. Slide the display cable back into its socket and fasten it again. You should hear a click. Take the EyeSight camera cable and with a spudger, slide each end back into its connector. Then stick the cable back on top of the fan housing. With the tweezer and a spudger, reconnect the three cables to the airport board by gently pushing them down. The one with the short sleeve should go to the left, the long sleeved one in the center, and the other without a sleeve to the right. When putting back the rubber fan bumper, make sure to fit the tabs into the notches. After that, push the battery connector back into its socket, and then put the plastic cover back on top of it. Take the lower case and put it back on top. Then put back all 10 screws. Remember that the two top screws are slightly smaller. and then you're done. Hopefully your laptop display is all fixed and it's looking good. If our how-to helped, give us a like. 
And if you're looking for more tech how-tos, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thank you.